Hello friends, it's me, Mr. Plattis, with another read aloud story. Today, I'm at an apple orchard because our book is called 10 Apples Up on Top. I also brought with me my ukulele because I love to play music and sing. So I thought it would be a fun idea today to try to sing the words of the book as I read them to you. Don't forget to keep watching after the story for a fun art activity that you can do at home with your grown-ups. 10 apples up on top. One apple up on top. Two apples up on top. Look, you, I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. You can do three, but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. Look, see, now I can hop with four apples up on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. Look here, you two, see here, you two, I can get five on top, can you? I am so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top, seven apples up on top. I am so good, they will not drop. Seven, fun, 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 seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven, two. And now see here, eight, eight on top, eight apples up. Not one will drop, but I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. Nine is very good, but then come on and we will make it ten. Look, ten apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. We are not going to let them drop. That was so much fun. Thank you for letting me use my ukulele today to sing you that book. I thought it would be a fun idea for us today to make apples of our very own using just a few art supplies that I know you have at your house. To make your apple, you will need paper, crayons, a writing tool, glue, and scissors. First, use your writing tool to draw a circle on your paper. Next, draw a rectangle that we can use later for the apple stem. After, use your scissors to carefully cut out your rectangle and your circle. Then, use your writing tool to draw a little curve on the top and the bottom of your circle. With your scissors, carefully cut on the curved lines. Put those pieces to the side. We are going to want to use one or two of them later to make a leaf for our apple. Now, you can use crayons to color in your apple. You can use red, yellow, or green to color your apple. I'm going to color my apple red because those are the tastiest ones for me. You can use green to color in the leaf and brown to color the stem. Last, use glue to place all of the pieces of your apple together. It's looking so great! Your apple is now finished! When you are all finished with your apple, take a picture and send it to your teachers. 
We love to see what you're doing at home. Oh my goodness, all of this talking and singing about apples has made me hungry for an apple snack. I'm going to go enjoy one now. I hope that you all have a great day. Bye.